Good morning, everybody. Another day, another set of results from Southern Cross at the Sunday Creek Project. Today, we're announcing two new holes, 115A and 117. These holes were into rising sun, and they were from a very similar level down in the, the system, if you like, from the surface down, and they somewhat paralleled each other, but they are in different ends of the mineralized system, if you like. Uh, remembering we talk about the rails of the ladder, that run basically east-west and then the rungs of the, the ladder that uh, cross that at a high angle. So they, these holes went across the rungs, hit multiple high-grade zones, uh, um, you know, 10 to 11 each. Uh, and the one hole, 115A, was in the hanging wall. So this... The, the rails of the ladder dip to the north. So we say that's the hanging wall. 117 was in to the foot wall. So they tested both sides of the rails of the ladder. 115A uh, had a, a, an amazing amount of high grades in it. Six assays interval uh, had greater than 50 grams per tonne gold, uh, up to 202 grams gold. Um, also, a lot of antimony there, up to 26%. Uh, some of the key intersections, 1.3 metres at 90, 10.4 at 3, 3.3 .3 at 6, uh, 0.3 at 87, et cetera. And you can see all those results on the screen in front of you right now. 117, which was into the foot wall, so the lower side of the dike, uh, had uh, a couple of standout intersections, 8.7 at 4, and then the highlight intersection of this press release, which is half a metre at 473 grams gold. Some incredibly high grades. The key point is that these extensions extend uh, the expiration target in that northwest to southeast extension. So we're starting to see mineralisation extend a little bit further than uh, we'd even estimated into that expiration target we put out in January. Also importantly, the holes show consistency of grade. You can see all those grades and uh, they, they are quite impressive in terms of we're hitting the mineralisation where we expect to, literally within a metre or so, each one of these veins, and then they hold up in terms of the grade. So a very pleasing result uh, demonstrating extensions of the system and continuity of grade. So the key point and one of the two uh, of the three KPIs of the project that we've set ourselves is to one, expand the system in terms of volume. So step out and these holes step out um, the system in that north, west to southeast orientation. So we're extending the rungs of the ladder, but also we're finding consistency of grade. And, and when we start drilling more and more grade, uh, we can start wireframing those grades and pull the cores out of each different vein set. Remembering we've got 45 vein sets. Um, so each one of these holes allows us to model the high grade cores within those veins, which brings consistency, which allows us to have a very low coefficient of variation. Um, the model hangs together more and more with more data that we're pulling together. And importantly, we'll increase the grade if we can wireframe those very high grade areas and they hang together. That leads to our stated aim, which is to create the highest margin gold project globally. And that's all around creating a very high grade project. So that's what these holes are doing uh, block by or, or or hole by hole. When you are onto a system like we have here at Sunday Creek, and and I've stated it publicly before, but that we're very uh, we're very uh, privileged to be the custodians of this project and to be able to define the gold that's been there for for quite some time. Um, you don't want to muck around, and and that's what we're not doing. We've just closed a ten point. 2, 3 million rights issue that was massively oversubscribed. And what we're doing is increasing the drill rate into this project. 
So you'll see a fifth rig coming next month in June, a sixth rig coming in September. Uh, and what that means is that we'll have a 60 kilometre program over the next 12 months. We've got something like 55 kilometres into the system. So we're going to more than double over the next 12 months what uh, this system's ever seen before. So what you need uh, in, in this business is a system that's uh, improving. And that's what our system is. It's getting higher average grades as we test this system deeper, understand it more. You've got to have the permits and the access and that we do when we own the uh, 320 acres of the freehold. And you've got to have the dollars to keep the exploration program growing. And then you drill and you drill with uh, ferocity, but with a stated and, and sensible aim, which which our aims, just to repeat them again, are to increase this system by volume. So step out, increase it by uh, defining those very high grades, which these holes have done, and then by demonstrating the district scale nature. Um, two extra points around those two points around defining the high grade. One, we're coming in with what we call navy drilling. We're starting that this week, navigational drilling. This is where we have a parent hole and we deviate off that with a secondary set of holes and, and that you can uh, drill multiple navy holes from the one parent hole. We've been doing a few wedges and you'll see those in the, the, the W name in our drill holes. This is the first time we've gone to navy drilling, which is a downhole motor, which gives us much more precision down the hole to place the, the, the drilling in a direction uh, very precisely. And why do we want to do that? Because we want to follow up some of these very high grades within 20 metre spacing. And that goes to the point of us allowing us to wireframe these very, very high grades if we continue to hit them. And that builds the confidence in that continuity and uh, dem will demonstrate this, that this is a very high grade system that hangs together at that very high grade. So number number two is defining those high grades with that navy drilling, which is a which is a new technique we're bringing to the project, a very sophisticated drill technique that this project now demands. So build by volume, build by by grade, and then demonstrate the district scale nature. So not are we dr drilling a lot, but we're doing a lot of the base work to de-risk that larger area. The core area is only one kilometre of the 10 kilometre trend. So only 10% of the area we're exploring at the moment. 90% we're planning now a very large geophysical induced polarisation or IP survey. Now the IP results well, the, we've done a smaller survey over that core area and it sees the known mineralization. So we're extending that into the 90% of that larger area so we can define more targets uh, further to the east specifically so we can demonstrate the district scale nature of this project, which is that third KPI, volume, grade, district scale. As uh, our drilling is becoming deeper, we have some of the deepest drilling coming up uh, in terms of the results, the hole 118, I think we've stated, is the deepest hole on the project to date. Uh, we're up to hole 117 that we've reported here. We've got six holes in the lab. Uh, and now with some of these very deep holes, we're actually starting to assay and get the very uh, upper parts of the hole processed while there's the, still the bottom parts of the hole are drilling. So, so you'll see lots of big holes coming. Six of them are in the lab and four holes where we're drilling currently, remembering we're bringing more and more rigs to this uh, project. We're starting now to drill under the, the better parts of Rising Sun uh, from further west from the Christina area. So you'll see some of the deeper holes uh, that have gone into the system and some of the only holes that have ever been drilled to the west we're starting to see us extend Apollo to depth and starting to focus with those navy holes in and around rising sun. So multiple angles to drill and expand this project.